when a, a draw is a disappointing result, it's a good sign, especially against some some decent teams. So uh, there's a lot of belief in the squad, and I think uh, just need to get our momentum going again, and uh, I think that'll uh, take us through. You mentioned momentum. You've gone on this little run of games undefeated T- to get back on the horse at home and-, and get on this winning run again. I think it's five consecutive wins at the Crown Ground would be just what the doctor ordered, wouldn't it? Yeah, I think we've got three consecutive home games in a row now, and it'd be great to. Uh, well, the, on- the only option is to take nine points now, really, if we've got any sort of ambition of promotion at all. And you're playing Hereford United, who've had a strange season. They were struggling down there. Jamie Pittman's come in and revitalised them a bit, but they're still struggling at the foot of the table. Do you have to approach teams like that differently in any way? Um, I think every game, uh, as long as everyone's given 100%, that's all you can ask because the, the, the teams that are near the top are obviously got ambition to push for playoffs and promotion. The teams near the bottom are fighting for survival, so all the teams are going to be fighting just as hard, so we need to do the same. Within the squad, the, the, the gaff has been on about the strength of the squad for a little while now. Is, is this perhaps the time that he's going to start changing things around and making it clear that he'll make changes if if the results don't start coming and, and give opportunities to players? Yeah, the gaff has said um, in team meetings and that he said that um, the whole squad's involved, even people aren't travelling to away games. Everyone's going to uh, get a chance before the end of the season. There's a lot of players who've played a lot of minutes now and... Um, I think everyone's going to get a chance and they need to when they come in they need to do well and take the chance when they get it 